you can have an excursion, an out of body experience. Your dreams can can basically tell you don't do this and don't do that, you know. And I I done had some some dreams after that too, you know. But um, I had a, a like my addiction, my addiction. Uh, I had a you know I got an, uh, an addiction like we all do, and um, I remember having a vision or a dream of my penis having pes having uh, parasites, the tip of my penis having parasites because I'm, I'm addicted to that. You know, I'm addicted, you know, to, you know, to, to that, you know, pornography and, and, and sex and stuff like that. Like a lot of people may be addicted to smoking and drinking and gambling. We all got an addiction to, co it's, it's a coping mechanism. So one of my dreams as I was, you know, dealing with that addiction was parasites at the t in the tip of my penis and I can literally see and I can feel them I was I was able to see and feel them and I woke up and bam so there was that uh, last but not least I have a food addiction gluttony I eat a lot I overeat so even after that vision so my mother she's she been having dreams lately these weird dreams uh, and I'm going to just tell you a recent one because it's the last thing. September the 28th uh, of this year, she had a dream of me just, just gouging, gouging, just overeating because I'm a fast eater. I'm a fast eater and I just I just overeat. So she had a dream of that. And then the day, bef the day later, September the 29th of this year, uh, my my brother, he had his uh, daughter over and they came downstairs. You know, it was a little wild and loud. Oh, well, she was a little loud because he was about to take her to school and I was sleeping on the couch. My mother was sleeping in the, uh, in the other living room, the, the first living room. And I got kind of a little upset because, like, you know, I'm trying to go to sleep. So I got up from the couch and I went to the bedroom right in the sunroom and laid down. When I went to sleep, I felt myself in the kitchen. Tell me why I felt myself in the kitchen dancing i felt myself i had another excursion an out of body experience this is the most recent one i was eating and my back was like this i felt somebody push me i felt somebody push me to the ground and then i try and, and then i looked and i tried to scream ma but my but my voice was like mm, ma. and all of a sudden i felt somebody grab my leg grab my ankle and started to pull me and when I looked, it wasn't nobody there. As I was being pulled, I looked and it was nobody there. And I felt that. They was pulling me. I'm gonna show y'all where they was pulling me at. They was pulling me on a rug right by the stove. Like they pushed me and I fell to the ground and I screamed, Mom! I was like, mm. My, mm. I couldn't, I couldn't shout out. I couldn't scream out for help. And all of a sudden I felt somebody grab my leg, my ankle. And I turned, when, once they grabbed my ankle, and it wasn't nobody there. And as I looked, I saw my feet in the air. And they was pulling me. And I felt myself being pulled. I felt the carpet as I was being pulled. I felt the hand on my, on my ankle. It felt like exorcism. It felt like an exorcism. It felt like the exorcism of Emily. You've seen it all the time where in those scary movies where people uh, get pulled, they be in bed and all of a sudden they leg get pulled. You see it all the time in movies. And I swear at that particular moment, it felt like I was in an exorcist movie. It felt like I was in an exorcist movie. And what my heavenly father was saying, stop eating. Stop overeating. Because the day before, my mother had a vision of me overeating. And she said, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, the word gluttony. The word gluttony came. I'm like, and she was like, what is gluttony? And I told her, gluttony is one of the seven deadly sins. Gluttony, pride, envy, lust, wrath, uh, um, sloth, and there's another one. But gluttony, overeating is one of the seven deadly sins. And the day before, she had a vision of that. And the day after, as I was in the kitchen, overeating dancing i get pulled i get pushed to the ground and then i turn around and i see nobody there but i see my feet in the air somebody holding on to my ankle and dragging me on the floor so after that i've been eating i've been i've been i've been cutting down on eating so with the 19 year old who had a vision of of, of hell and, and and the other black guy who had a vision of judgment day this shit is real it's real ain't it there I'm telling you, it's real, you know.
So I, I, I basically turned my life over to Yahweh our Elohim, God, Lord God, Yahweh, Lord, Elohim, God, Yahshua the Messiah, Holy Spirit, look it up, don't take my word for it, look up those names, because that, cause that, that, that is a true name of our Heavenly Father, the true name, and I have nothing against those other religions and stuff like that, but it's false, you know, it's false. So turn your life over to God. All those dreams people have and you, just a message. That's literally a message. It's telling telling you to just stop what you're doing. Stop stop cheating on your wives or your husbands. You know, stop stop uh, uh forgive. Forgive those out there, you know, cuz me and my brother, we was going through it and I, I forgave him. You know, cuz I ain't about to uh, mess up eternal life mess up my eternal life because I didn't forgive this person or because I was addicted to porn or because I was uh, 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 Overeating and got in and, 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 and you know to the point where I, I feel my chest hurting at times to the point where I feel as though I'm about to have a heart attack So, you know We at the end of the age man. We in a sixth dispensation Because a thousand years to Yahweh is one day as one day is a thousand years something like that something along those lines But it's only been a week for Yahweh. It's only been a week for him, for our Heavenly Father, the Most High. Because everything is a type and shadow. A day-to-day -day, uh, uh, routine, you know, throughout the week, is only literally been six days to Yahweh. Because we are in the sixth dispensation, you know, and we in the grace period. We in the grace period. So he's given us time, long suffering. I was always saying, why is it taking so long for him to uh, 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 end this thing? I'm ready. I'm ready. You don't want to do that right now because a lot of us, if that was the case, we'd be going to the lake. If he was to end it right now, a lot of us would be going to the lake. So he's giving us time to repent. And all I'm saying is, you better heed that warning. I'm not threatening you, but just do your own personal investigation. You know, look up the names, Yahweh, Elohim, Yahshua the Messiah. And um, just turn your life over to God. You know, turn your life over to God. And that's all I got to say. Also, later that day, I found a crack on my inner right pinky toe from my leg that was pulled. And most recently, at the beginning of October in the morning, I guess I was falling back into my old ways because I was about to make a smoothie, to try and start eating healthy after that incident. And began packing the blender with a whole load of stuff. As my mother made her way downstairs she called my name. Once I looked towards my left I saw a dark cloud hovering right above the stairs. Shocked, I asked her if she saw the same thing and my mother said no. While standing right beneath it. And this all took place in the physical, not while I was asleep like before. Eventually she went back upstairs to do her thing. And here I was at the doorway of the kitchen still packing the blender. I look at the steps again and this time the whole area was cloudy and blurry and started slowing coming my way. I backed up so fast that I fell back on the couch with a blender still in one hand and cutter in the other. Scared as hell. My mother soon came back downstairs as I told her what happened. And she looked at the area herself and didn't see anything. While we both stood at the opening of the kitchen, the area began to look cloudy and blurry and even more alive. And at this point I was terrified. I asked my mother a third and final time if she saw what was in front of us and she didn't. As the look on my face scared my mother too and then, that was it. And if I'm being honest here, that whole experience looked and felt supernatural. It was like our Heavenly Father was showing this vessel a glimpse of the spiritual and it took both me and my mother by surprise. And recently, I was feeling some type of way this particular day and went to grab a bite to eat. After eating all day, mind you. The moment I reached for the cookies the curtain on the right hand side of the refrigerator fell down with such force as if it was snatched down or something. I jumped back so fast and got out of there. And about a week ago around 3 o'clock at night. I couldn't go to sleep. And I could tell our dog used the bathroom because the smell circulated throughout the whole house. Frustrated, I went downstairs in the basement to clean up after her. Once finished, I went to go mop up the rest of the mess. However, Buttercup or Pitbull kept tugging at the mop until I got irritated and snatched it out of her mouth only to try and shoo her away. At that moment, the mop snapped in two. Before even making contact, it snapped right in my hands. At first I was taken back, 
until I eventually smiled and knew it was all a test and a lesson learned. To never be so quick to anger. Whatever the case may be, never give in to those deep, dark impulses we all share. That threefold negative spirit given to us from birth, the fallen angels. That could only be exchanged via the Holy Spirit, Yeshua the Messiah in you. Patience is a virtue. Because whatever we do here, reflects where we're going later on, if still stuck in our old ways. So make it count. Be in this world, maintain, just not of it. Worldly or carnal minded. We hear this all the time, spiritual beings living a physical existence. And that statement couldn't be any more true. Because this flesh is temporal. Each and every one of us know this. For example, simply by how we react at funerals. Our loved ones still be there in the flesh. But yet here we are holding funeral service for them because we know subconsciously, what was once there, that eternal spirit, isn't anymore. We know something has left that body. Rather we believe it's spirit or not. We know. And that's because our Heavenly Father Yahweh, gave us all an inkling of knowledge of his existence. Rather it take the form of spiritual consciousness, religious ideology, or simply free thinkers. We all know deep down inside that there is a higher form of life out there or at least some form of it, the universe. And how so, you may ask. Romans 1.20 For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even, his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. The Holy Name Bible